Hi, this is Heather with KeepItSimpleSocialMedia.com and in this video we're going to review two items. One, how do you change the name of your business page? And number two, how do you unlike a business page that you've liked? So let's start on our admin panel on our new timeline and let's just scroll down the page and have a look here at the name of my page. Keep it simple social media training and consulting. Now you notice I've used quotation marks, I've talked about the name of my business and what it is I do. Now I cannot change the name of my business because I have more than 99 likes and you can only change the name of your business page under 100 likes. So if you have under 100 likes and you'd like to fix your business page so it looks a little sharper or has a call to order with your own name and the name of your company or the business that you're in, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to scroll over and underneath your profile picture is the About tab. Now if you're on the old timeline, then you have to edit the page and we're going to end up in the same area. So let's go ahead and click About or Edit Page. And for people on the new timeline, you have to do one more step and that is click edit page. Now all of us should basically be on basic information at this time. This is where you can scroll down the page and you can see all the information, um, your small about, your birthday, your description, your biography, but right here is the name. And if you have under 100 likes, here is where you would change your page to be exactly what you want it to be. And I highly recommend that you have the name of your company or you have your own personal name. If you're in real estate, you have to call your, your page should be called your own name plus what your profession is and perhaps even the area. Because once you have a few hundred people following you, what you want them to always be remembering is your name and your profession because this is subliminal marketing, keeping your name and your profession top of mind for when people need your services. So right here is where you would make those changes, but you're not finished yet. You have to scroll down the page and you have to click Save Changes. Okay, so that's how if you have under 100 likes, you would go ahead and change the name of your business page. Now let's go back to View Page and let's find a business for me to use an as an example for unliking a business page. So I'm going to click on all the pages that I've liked and I'm not going to scroll through all of them at this time. All I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to pick one page and when I'm on their business page, now don't worry Keith, I'm not going to unlike you, I'm just going to use you as an example. So on Keith's business page, what I would do here is if I click this like button, you see the unlike here, up here. So I would go ahead and I would click unlike. The other option is to use the drop down menu and right here is the unlike button as well. But I'm not going to unlike Keith Setter. I'm going to go ahead and like him again. So there's your two examples. That's how you unlike a business page. And if you're on the old business page, you would click on the person's business page that you want to unlike. And then you'd scroll down to the bottom of the page. And on the left-hand side, you would see the unlike button. And that's where you would click it there. So this is Heather. I hope these two examples have helped you today. Let's keep it simple.